No matter what anyone says, math is actually useful, but how useful is it really? Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. In this video, I wanna talk about the topic of math and how it relates to programming, and if it's even important to learn as much math as they say you should. Because some people say that math is a complete waste of time and no programmers ever use it. And then there's other people that say that math is 100% crucial and you need to be really good at math in order to become a programmer. And I have to say that both of these sides are kind of wrong. It's somewhere in the middle. Math is important, but you don't have to be good at math to be a programmer. So if we take a look at universities, for example, if you go to a four-year university to study computer science, computer engineering, or some other programming style field, then more than likely you're going to get stuck with a ton of math classes. I know in my university, I did a computer engineering degree, and over those four years, I probably took as many math classes, if not more math classes, than I did actual computer science and programming related classes. But I spent a ton, and I mean a ton of time studying math, and this isn't like easy math, this is you know, high level calculus, linear algebra, those kinds of math classes, things that you traditionally think of as not being that important and something that you don't need as a programmer. And I will let you know, I don't use 99% of the math that I learned in college as a programmer. I find that high level of math for what I do as a web developer is pretty much completely useless. But for some careers, that level of math is needed. But you're asking yourself, most people become web developers or some other type of developer that doesn't really need high level math. Why do they focus on it so heavily in schools? And the reason is, is that math is a great way to train your problem solving skills. Inside of school, they're trying to find the best way to teach you the different skills that you need in order to become a programmer or whatever else your career path is. And math is just one of the tools that they can use to help train your problem solving skills. And not only that, it's also really easy for them to grade since it's got a right or a wrong answer. So it's a great tool to use to train problem solving and also be able to actually grade that for a school type grading system. The other reason that schools really love teaching math for problem solving is that they are preparing you to go into higher levels of education, graduate and PhD level education. And if you go into those higher levels of education, especially in the realm of programming, more than likely you're going to be using high level mathematics because you're going to do a lot of theory and algorithm based stuff. And that relies a lot on really heavy math skills in order to build out programs and theories for that. So it's important for you to know all of this math in order to go into a graduate or PhD level computer science program. But for the average web developer, none of that math is actually relevant, which is why I think that schools are failing the average computer science student because not everyone is good at math. Some people excel at it, but other people really struggle at math. And just because they struggle at math, it doesn't mean that they're a bad programmer. It just means that math is not something that clicks well with them. But problem solving can be learned in so many different ways. My favorite way to do problem solving practice is to either just do you know problems on like leak code or something like that, those algorithm style problems, or something that's even more fun is you just build a project. If you have a project in mind, you can build out that project and you're going to run into issues and problems that you need to solve. So you're going to train your problem solving skills. Even just watching tutorials on YouTube is going to train your problem solving skills because you're going to see how other people solve problems. And then you can see how you can apply that to your own problems and tweak their solutions to fit your own needs. Unfortunately, though, schools don't really see that way. They know that they're trying to train you for those graduate level programs and math is a pretty easy subject to grade. So they're going to heavily emphasize math as opposed to some of these more open ended project style problem solving learning approaches, which is a big bummer for people that really struggle at math because I knew plenty of people that either failed out of computer science or switched majors because the math portion was just too hard for them to grasp because they really just weren't natural at math at all. Even though they could have been perfectly fine programmers, the math was the only thing that held them back. This is one advantage most self-taught developers have. Is you don't have to focus on the math side of things nearly as much. You can learn the basics of math that you need for whatever level of programming you go into. And then you can instead focus on problem solving in more enjoyable and more practical ways. Now, I know in the beginning of this video, I talked quite a bit about how math is useful and it is from the problem solving perspective, but it's also useful in general just as something to know. As a web developer, you're probably not going to need to know that much math. I know for me, about 99% of the math that I used as a web developer was pretty much just basic algebra, so like late middle school, early high school level math, nothing that's too difficult at all. And there's a few cases where I needed to do some more complicated math, maybe some calculus or maybe some differential equations. But when those things came up, I didn't remember it from school. I just looked it up online, found what I needed online, and then I implemented that into my code. Or more than likely, there's a library that takes care of that for me. So I didn't really have to do too much complicated math. And when I did, I pretty much just looked up how to do that simple thing of math right there and then, instead of trying to remember everything from all the textbooks of all the years of school. 
This also applies to most developer positions. You know, if you're doing desktop development or mobile development, you're not really going to be worrying too much about math, but there are some development careers that do rely a lot more heavily on math. And if you plan to go into these, math is incredibly crucial for your success. One of those particular areas is game development, especially if you're doing like 3D game development. There's a lot of physics you need to deal with because you have a whole physics engine you have to deal with. You have to deal with 3D modeling, which is a ton of math involved in that. So you're going to need to know a lot of math from, you know, physics, advanced physics, especially. You're going to need to know trigonometry. You're going to need to know calculus. You have a lot of extra math skills you need to know in order to do this job. Another job that is really math heavy is anything related to machine learning or AI. This is probably one of the most math heavy fields out there because it requires a ton of extensive math. You need advanced calculus, you need to know linear algebra, and you in general just need to understand a lot of high level mathematical concepts in order to make these models that are going to do your deep learning and machine learning AI. But again, for the most part, you don't need to know these math skills unless you go into those particular fields. And again, even if you go into particularly game development or machine learning, there are fields within those fields that are less math reliant. So you could do something related to game development that isn't the physics engine or the 3D modeling, and that's going to be much less math heavy. Also, if you go into the machine learning AI spectrum, you could be working on something such as the modeling or the actual graphing of the data. And again, that's going to be much less math heavy than actually building out the models themselves. Really, the thing that math is best at is just preparing you for problem solving and making you a better problem solver. But if you struggle with math or just don't understand math, it doesn't mean you're a bad problem solver. It just means you're bad at math. And you can learn problem solving through many other techniques, such as just building out projects on your own, which in my opinion is the most fun way to go. So overall, you definitely don't really need math, but at least understanding the basics of math is going to get you a long ways within programming. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out some of my other videos. They're going to be linked over here and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.